I'm sure some people have wondered what's it like actually having two of these, you know, two, two Bernie's Mountain Dog puppies. And I would say... Hey guys, the last time we did an in the car video, we hadn't picked these two up yet, and I didn't know we were getting two puppies. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, so, a little bit has changed since then. Yeah, about, I don't know what, 70 pounds each has changed at, since then. At least 70 pounds each. Yeah, our, our boys are 75 pounds approximately each now. I cannot believe how fast they have grown. I've never seen a breed of dog that, that grows anywhere near this fast. And it was pretty cool too because uh, just about the time we picked these puppies up, we instantly started having to take some quarantine type cautions trying to avoid the COVID situation. So he actually has gotten to see them grow up. Yeah, working from home now and uh, the social distancing thing has been great for being around uh, the puppies as they were growing up. I've never had the chance to do that. Uh, as many of you know, you know, you just don't have that many uh, dogs in life. And when you get one as a puppy, they do grow up rather quickly. And if you have to go to work every day, you, you miss out on a lot of stuff. So fortunately for me, I've been able to be there for all that. What are you guys doing? You guys like a car ride? That one looks sleepy. there's a ride in the car happening they're up and looking around excited they can tell literally they know when we're getting the keys and I get my wallet out of the drawer they get all excited because they they know there's a pretty good chance they're getting to go somewhere and I've never seen uh, a couple of dogs that enjoy a car ride as much as these do One of the things we love about these pups, and I say pups, they're, as we mentioned, 70 plus pounds now. So they're, they're still technically puppies, but they, you, know, you wouldn't know it by looking at a, at a scale. Uh, one of the things we do love about them, uh, from the time they were little bitty puppies, they love to crawl up on you. They want to be on you all the time. They will crawl up in your lap and sleep. Uh, 
get in a recliner sometime and the little guys, these little guys will crawl up on your chest and go to sleep and might be there a half an hour before they wake up and want to play again. Uh, the uh, Just beware, when they do get to be 70 plus pounds, they still like to crawl up on you and go to sleep. So uh, they, they are very affectionate. Uh, and, and playful they want to be around you all the time and on you a lot of the time too so be prepared for that One of the things that's amazed me is the uh, the little things you wouldn't have thought about on the way to pick up your, your puppy. Uh, one of them, uh, Cooper, for a long time would get under the bed. He liked to get under the bed and then he would love for you to pull him out by his front feet. And carefully, it was just carefully. a, well, of course, yeah. Uh, it was just a, a game that, that he liked to play. And uh, he eventually got so big he couldn't get under the bed anymore. So now what he does, when it's time to get up or we want him to get up and do something, he will roll over on his back and stick his feet up. And what he wants is for you to walk up and get his feet and real gently pull him up and he'll stand up on his back legs and uh, walk, walk, for, to, yeah, yeah. Walk, for a, walk for a little bit and then uh, he, he's ready to get back down. But it's sort of a, I can't get under the bed anymore, so this is what I want to do now. And when he would get under the bed, he would run under the bed and stick his feet out. He, he wanted you to pull him out from under yeah. the bed. Yeah, no doubt about that. He, he didn't get under there to hide or get away from you. He wanted, he would get right under the edge of the bed. And uh, when he was really a little pup, he would sit up under the bed and you could pull him out. And then he got so big, he'd have to roll over on one of his sides and and then he, but eventually there was just no way to even do that. So now we just play a different game with him. And his brother, not interested at all in that. Yeah, it's funny. They were very, very similar and very, very different. Totally, totally different personalities, but yet very, very similar dogs. Sounds like a contradiction. A little uh, bit of a contradiction. Yeah, being litter mates, you'd think they in terms of appearance and behavior and everything, they'd be almost identical? Absolutely not. They both have their own things they do. Uh, Very unique personalities. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're uh, even blindfolded. You could easily tell the difference between the two just in their sound. Uh, the one howls more than the other, one barks more than the other. It's, it's really amazing how different they actually are. So I was gonna say, their sound. One of them is going to be barking at you a lot. We're working on barking with Colin. We're yeah. working on barking. Yeah, and if you uh, if you do try the blindfold thing, that's fine. Just be sure and close your sock drawer when you do because they love socks. Don't let them get socks. Do not let them get socks. They will try to get every sock you own. If they swallow them, it could go badly, like surgery badly. So be careful not to leave socks laying. They're great boys, but just like with any puppy, there are things we're working on. We've got a sock thief. Cooper is our sock thief, which we've obviously got to be very careful about so that he doesn't swallow a sock, can't leave any sock remotely anywhere at all. Yeah, and one of the funniest things is when Cooper does get a sock or something else he's not supposed to have, Colin will tell on him. He will bark in a certain way until we come into wherever they are and see that Cooper has something that he's not supposed to have. That is and believe funny. me, it's happened many, many times. Speaking of speaking of the barking, that's what we're working on with Colin. While we definitely love that he tells on his brother when Cooper is doing something he isn't supposed to, we probably need to work with Colin on not barking incessantly. Yeah, Colin is more prone to, to get excited. Uh, if he's been asleep for a while, he could be he could think he was asleep for three days. And when he wakes up, he's just going to be excited to be doing whatever's happening. So he's going to, he barks a little bit out of excitement, 
it's getting a little better as he gets a little older, but again, he's only eight months old, so um, you know, we got a little time yet to worry about. We're, do we're doing just fine, but little things, little things we have to work on, for sure. Yeah, Cooper's definitely the sneak of the two. He, he definitely will, uh, he will try to do things that, uh, in such a way that you don't pick up on it or you don't notice. He uh, loves to bring in sticks, uh, little tiny sticks out of the backyard and hide them in the house. He will uh, get them in his mouth and make sure you don't notice it. And then he'll come on inside and go like, he'll stick them under the love seat or some, some place where he thinks you won't notice. So, uh, and that's one of the things that Colin loves to tell on him for. absolutely love a car ride, which is really great news for us because with the current state of the pandemic, car rides and trips to the farm are about the extent of what we're able to do with them at the moment. Working from home, social distancing, and uh, taking care of these guys, that's, that's pretty much how the day goes. Yeah, little, little did we know when we were bringing these two puppies home that they were going to be a, our source of entertainment. I'm sorry, our sole source of entertainment for the next, at this rate, maybe forever. Forever? Well, we, maybe we, forever. We do have Netflix when they let us watch it. Haven't we watched all of Netflix by now? Well, you would think so, but at the same time, how many times will we try to watch it in the puppies that be between us and the TV? This is very true. The bigger they get, the less of the television we can actually see. that Colin really likes to tell on Cooper for is when he steals something he's not supposed to have, right? And what's funny is you'll go in to figure out whatever it is, and if you can't find it, you probably need to look under Cooper. He's probably laying on his, his treasure. Yeah, he's had enough things taken away from him. He knows he has to hide it if he wants to keep it. So he will stick it up under a pillow or his own body, just anywhere he can think of. And uh, Colin just hasn't had any inclination to do anything like that, but he will tell on that brother in a minute. That he will. people send us messages and ask us questions and we're, we're definitely not experts on the subject we've uh, we've kind of had a little bit of baptism by fire so if we can help anybody out feel free to drop a drop a question in the comments and let us know and we will we'll try and answer any questions anybody has at least to the best of our ability
I think Cooper is tired. Are you all tuckered out? 